What's up, you guys? New video. This one's gonna be a little bit different than all the other ones you've seen on the channel up to date. I do a lot of educational stuff, and I think that's good, and it's cool to share the sauce, but I wanted to switch it up for this one. This one is going to be more of like an entertainment base. I'm doing a day in the life of high ticket sales. I slept past my alarm to go to the gym super early and now it's eight o'clock. So I just woke up, I'm getting ready to do that now. But pretty interesting day ahead, not a crazy day full of calls. We do got some calls on the calendar. I'm gonna take you guys along, walk you through, show you what a realistic day in the life of high ticket sales looks like. Context though, my day in the life today looks a little bit different than it did six months ago. I'm no longer taking eight closing calls a day. So as of about a, a month ago, uh, I moved from closing to head of sales. So I'm leading a nine person sales team. We've got six closers and three appointment setters. And then I also do still take the part-time calls for my own community, which I have one of those today. So you're gonna kind of see a day in the life of high ticket sales once you're two years in, instead of like, a day in the life of an appointment setter. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. Basically every Friday I do the same thing. I ride my bike to the gym. It's about two miles on like the most beautiful trail you could get. I've had this bike for a super long time. It was a fixed gear for those of you who are hip. Now it's a single speed, so pretty fun. And then every morning I eat the same breakfast. Not always this, but bagel with peanut butter just to kick the day off, get some carbs in. And then this is pre-workout creatine. I think it's like 300 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm gonna get a little cracked out. I can't forget, this is Bug. If you guys have ever heard a dog barking in my videos or my calls, this is the one, but basically she knows a lot of tricks. So heel, heel, come on, sit, shake, oh yeah. Down, up, leave it, okay. Super nice, usually there's a lot of people, a little bit early, but Lake views, downtown views. You got this, you know, paved part, and then it also turns into like rocky part, like this. And I just ride my bike all the way to the gym downtown. So, if you know about the trail, you're an OG. If you don't know about the trail, you will soon. It's really hard to beat, bro. Really hard to beat. I mean, we got the White House right there. Made it. I'm sitting here trying to get like a closer, bro. Not sure this is going to pick up with the wind, but one thing that I like to do on leg days is ride my bike back super slow up and down the hills, downtown and on the trail. So that's what we're going to do for the next 20, 25 minutes. It's just getting back to the spot about the time of day when people start waking up, start uh, calling and texting and just got to get a little bit more active on the phone. So chatted with a buddy here in Austin who's looking for potentially six sales reps for his company. Uh, so we're going to talk more on that sometime soon. Yeah, potentially. Uh, some opportunities coming to you guys very soon. Just got out of the shower, about to hop on the laptop for the day. Wanted to document some textbook high ticket sales attire before so. So got the, the polo on, I always go with the plain t-shirt, clean polo, make it look like you actually have a neck and some chest and some arms. And then obviously casual down, down below, the Lulu five inch, can't beat it. Remember guys, it's not about how good you are at sales, it's about how handsome you are. Throw something on the wrist, throw the hat on, or. You know, no hat for me today, I'm usually a hat guy, but about to jump into it. Got the secret protein shake, 50 grams of protein. Recipes on Twitter, search cereal sales protein shake if you want it, let's get to it. So I already told you guys, I don't really have like back to back to back calls every day anymore since I'm not closing full time. But a lot of my day is like very time sensitive. It's like, hey, fire over here, we need this. We can't get into this. And I'm, so I'm just like jumping around, helping people with whatever they need help with. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I do have a sales meeting coming up here in a little bit. And then I had a DQ. I did have two sales calls today. I had a DQ one, but what it's looking like calendars are open before sales meeting, just kind of checking things out for the week. It's been a pretty busy week for our closers. We've got three in North America. Those are the calendars pulled up right now. So should be a productive meeting here. Yeah, yeah. But it's not possible. Literally, there's no other sync questions running. Just wrapped up sales meeting with the North American team. Sounds like guys have about 40, 50 K that's going to get pushed over the line for the weekend. That makes for a pretty sweet Friday. If you ask me, this would be a pretty boring day in the life video of all you saw was me working. But guys, realistically, this is what you're doing in high ticket sales. And when you're an appointment setter or a closer, you're taking more calls, but you're still on the computer. So later in the video, I'm going to show you exactly what I was working on. Two things, however, that I did not mention later in the video was the two jobs that I posted into the community and 
one of the appointment setters that I'm working with getting back saying he had an $1,800 week. Afternoon snack, we got some overnight protein oats. I think there's like 20 grams of protein in here. The ratio protein, key lime, uh, 25 gram deal. It's like 40 to the dome or like 45 grams to the dome. Girlfriend got full, so I have to finish her grapes. All right, took a step outside. I'm gonna film my three TikToks a day that I'm doing for 100 days just to see what can come of it. I usually just sit, think of something, and then film a TikTok on it. Uh, this time I'm on this rooftop patio and gonna riff these off real quick. Pretty sweet setup to make a bunch of TikToks. Let's go. It's two o'clock, about to jump into the sales call. Last call of the day. Got something planned afterwards, which I'm gonna take you guys along for. Hopefully we close it. That would be a good start to this weekend. Just wrapped up the sales call. We did what we do. One call close, no objections, how it should be. Getting ready to go. The dog just peed on the floor. Sick. Friday, so taking off a little bit early today. I'm gonna go head out to the event, which you're gonna see what it is in just a minute. And a good Friday overall between the clothes that we had and the team uh, also bringing in some cash. Almost stepped in the pee. The team also bringing in some cash. It's pretty good Friday, so let's go. I documented the things that I did on the computer so that you could see like what I did. So earlier today, I mean, man, a lot of what I do is calendars, emails, WhatsApp, messages, Slack, phone calls. It's kind of management in a nutshell. And then all our sales meetings, some stuff came up talking just to the setters and the closers. I sent out a new contract for somebody that I closed a while back, the deal changed. Set up an onboarding with our new closer in Australia. We were troubleshooting some of the closers automations that were going out. There's some old automations shouldn't have been going out. We're working on our reporting dashboard a little bit. That was a lot of like the work with the team that I'm on. And then I did myself I'm doing three TikToks a day for a hundred days, film those. Uh, I updated my ad tracking sheet, all the, all the metrics there, cost per call, ad spend, edited some of the, the YouTube titles on the channel. And yeah, again, wrapping it up a little bit early today. It's Friday, gonna go have some fun. Usually I do have meetings until the last ones at nine to 9.15, it's our Asian sales sync. So that team over there, that's one thing about managing a worldwide team is like, I have to take a 9 p.m. meeting. And then I have little stuff at like six o'clock to meet with the setters and stuff like that. But that's what a typical day in the life would look like. But we're gonna go now and have some fun. So if you guys made it this far, man, I hope you guys are entertained. Check this out, boys. A little cold start action. I know I'm like some big YouTube vlogger now, but I promise we're not so different, you and I. I fill up my leaky tires one at a time, just like everybody else. Perks of driving a 99 car, I just blew a fuse. I have like a half full tire, so that's freaking sweet. Nice. But I got another one over here, so we're back. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, y'all know what time it is. Back from Formula One and the killers, the traffic, and parking situation, absolutely terrible. That place was not built with this in mind. I had to walk like seven miles, just completely unprepared. I'm a big walker, but like was not prepared to walk that much for this. And so I'm exhausted, man. Winding down, about to eat some dinner. And again, bit of a different video here. Hopefully it's entertaining to you guys. I don't know how much or how often I can do this because it's was kind of a lot to film this much but yeah if you guys have any other recommendations for video ideas drop them in the comments or shoot me a, a message or a dm because i want to i want to make sure that i'm making stuff that the people want to see so uh and i got bug here too so we're out of here y'all peace What's up guys, it's now a couple of days after. Wrapping up some of the editing, it's early morning, so I got crazy eye bags, got the red light on, got the Starbucks on, got the Arnold tea on, you know what it is. But if you're new to high ticket sales, you're looking to get started, check out the free training in the description to this video. If you've already checked that out, check out the community. It's the no BS approach on how to get into high ticket sales, come in with realistic expectations and do this for an extended period of time even if your first job doesn't work out. There's no crazy guarantees. I don't tell anyone you're gonna make 30K a month in 90 days. I don't guarantee a job because that stuff is not real.
but can make good money and you can do so quickly if you have the right people, the right opportunities, the right support around you. So if you're in the space, check out, if you're new, check out the training. If you're somewhat new, check out the community. If you have any messages, DM me on Instagram, just YouTube or something, and we can chat and see if there's something else that could be of use to you. So appreciate you guys watching. If you wanna see more like this, just let me know in the comments, but like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. See you on the next one.